I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Thank you to everyone who made last week's Psychedelic Investing Conference a success. It was a wonderful event. And along those lines, the Northeast Cannabis Business Conference is sponsoring this week's Marijuana Money video. Their event is February 19th and 20th in Boston. Get your tickets now, and if you use the promo code NECBC130, you get 30% off. Hey, that's a heck of a deal. And you can spend your savings at a local dispensary. Along those lines, Cureleaf is going to be opening the first adult use dispensary in Cape Cod. That is set to have its grand opening on February 6th. Suniva said it is closing its wholly owned subsidiary, Full Scale Distributors, in February. The CEO said that the company is going to focus on the preservation of available funds to actively defend the company in a dispute that's related to the build a suit lease of the Cathedral City Glass House. Ecogen Labs is continuing to expand. It successfully closed on a $40 million financing arrangement through a private placement. Emerald Health Therapeutics said that they entered into a shares for debt transaction with Emerald Health Sciences. Terrasen named the company's executive chairman, Jason Ackerman, as the interim CEO. He will be replacing the current CEO, Michael Nashat. Driven Deliveries has announced its decision to purchase Humboldt Heritage. That's a Canadian uh, cannabis company based in Northern California. On our Hemp Market Report website, we reported from Hemp Benchmarks that there is such a glut of hemp in the market that prices are falling and some farmers can't even sell their harvests. Has the bubble already burst for CBD? Go check that out. And also this week, High Times Chairman Adam Levine sent out a letter to shareholders saying the company was going to extend its capital fundraising offering again. This time the company wants to raise $5 million. The letter also reviewed the latest decision to move High Times into the dispensary business and also the changes in the C-suite. Stormy Simon is now the CEO. Paul Henderson is now the president. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.